Part of the Ohio Opioid Technology Challenge that we were working with is rapid detection of unknown drugs and how we might be able to protect first responders that may come on a scene where actually a drug is found. So if an unknown powder is found, we're working to develop these color change cards that within a few minutes they'll know what drugs they are actually working with. It'll help protect first responders that may come in contact with an unknown product. Why that's exciting is, is that you're protecting people's lives. So the, the initial funding provided to us by the Ohio Opioid Technology Challenge allowed us to develop this technology from a uh, proof of concept idea into a fully validated and developed product. These ID cards are designed to test multiple uh, drugs of abuse at the same time and can be used by first responders, law enforcement officials, and emergency room professionals. So this is our uh, ID card uh, detection uh, kit. It will come with a pair of gloves, spatula, water, and the enclosure with the ID card in it. First you put on the gloves, and then you find your, your powder that you want to test. You take a little bit, you put it into the uh, special hole, you uh, swipe the powder. After that, you put the uh, water in and let it run all the way to the top. And then you take a picture with the app and the app will tell you what kind of drug you have or what kind of drug mixture. At the end, of the, at the end you put everything into the package and you dispose of it. If we were to receive the million dollar prize from the Ohio Opioid Technology Challenge, it will allow us to further develop this technology into a viable product and implement this uh, product uh, in Ohio and beyond. Uh, it will also help us uh, to field test these devices uh, with various end users, uh, such as first responders and emergency uh, professionals. Additionally, it allowed for our grad students here at Bowling Green State University to, to learn how to, one, properly handle unknown substances, two, help us in the product development. And so that from a, a technology perspective, it allowed us to, to actually teach students and at the same time develop a product that's going to help society. The state of Ohio, through the Opioid Technology Challenge, really has moved the country forward in developing not only methods for protecting first responders, but protecting those that may have been exposed to the drug itself. And so the Opioid Technology Challenge is specifically in this, the area that we're looking at right now for rapid detection of unknown powders will help protect society and uh, the state of Ohio and the rest of the country.